Hi guys, welcome sa Gianger Life TV featuring Hugutsip na yan. At para sa ating topic for today, we're going to factor general trinomial using AC test. So tara, alamin natin. General trinomial is in one variable has the form of AX squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are real numbers to determine the factors of general trinomial where a is greater than 1 we use AC test so AC test ang ginagamit namin kapag nagdi-divide kami o nagpa-factor ng general trinomial na kung saan yung value ng a ay more than 1 Possibly itong maging 2, 3, 4, or kahit anong number. Let us recall muna kung papaano magmultiply ng binomial. At papaano ba sila nagiging general trinomial. Ang example po ng mga binomial na ginagamit natin ay ang example natin na 2a plus 9 at a minus 5. When we multiply those using FOIL method, We've determined the first term by multiplying 2a times a, which is 2a squared, followed by the outer, 2a times negative 5 equals to negative 10a. We have the inner. For the inner, we have 9 times a equivalent to 9a. For the last term, we have 9 times negative 5 which is negative 45. So we combine the like terms. We have negative 10a and 9a equals to negative a. So our final answer is 2a squared minus a minus 45. Yung foil method na ginamit natin, syempre siya yung first outer inner at saka last. Ginagamit natin to pag nagmumultiply tayo ng binomial. Kung napapansin nyo dito, yung sa first term po ng 2a plus 9, may 2. Yung po yung dahil lang kung bakit nakapag-produce tayo ng a greater than 1. Sa expression natin ito, ang 2 ang a, ang negative 1 ang b, tapos ang negative 45 po natin ang ating c. Nakapansin nyo po, in first term, ang second term, at yung last term. So, ginagamit din natin guys, ang vertical method sa pag-multiply ng mga binomials. When we multiply this using uh, vertical method, ang gagawin po natin para po tayo nag-multiply ng mga simple number. First, we multiply them, we distribute negative 5 on each term of 2a plus 9. So, mumultiply natin siya isa-isa. 9 times negative 5 is negative 45. So, 2a times negative 5 is definitely a negative 10a. After nun, imumultiply naman natin yung a sa ating whole trinomial natin na 2a Plus 9. Ulitin ko ha. After nun, we multiply A to each term of 2A plus 9. So, after we multiply, we multiply natin si A sa 9. We have 9A. We multiply 2A by A, which is 2A squared. After nun, we combine the like terms. The like terms is negative 10A and 9A. That's why we have 2a squared minus a minus 45. Doon po nang gagaling yung ating matinatawag na general trinomial. Ngayon, alamin natin kung paano sila factoring. Let us factor general trinomial. Ang ating pa-factoring po ngayon ay 2x squared plus 11x plus 12 using AC test. Ang first step natin is to find the product of the first term ax squared and c. 
Ang sinasabi ko po ay itong 2x squared na to at saka po itong 12. Tandaan natin, nasa form po sila ng ax squared plus bx plus c. So, pag multiply natin yung 2x squared at saka yung 12, makuha po natin ay 24x squared. So, we're done with our first step. Sa ating second step, find the factors of the said product by which their sum is the middle term. Hanapin natin yung factor ng 24x squared na kailangan lalabas ay yung 11x na ating middle term. Paano po natin gagawin yun? So, maglilista tayo ng iba't ibang factor na pwede natin gamitin para makuha ang ating 11x. Factor, tapos, sum. Kung makikita nyo po, yun ang ating gagawin ngayon. Nung sinulat ko lahat ang mga factor, ito po yung mga lamabas. Meron po tayong 2x, we have 12x, equals to 14x ang sum nila. May 3x, tas may 8x, meron po tayong sum na 11x. Meron tayong 4x and 6x, may sum po tayong na 10x. We have x and 24x, we have 25x na sum. Nilista ko rin yung mga negative numbers. Mula doon, hanapin natin yung maglalabas ng 11x. At yun po yung 3x at 8x. After natin gawin yun, nakuha na natin yung factor na maglalabas ng ating middle term. Ngayon po, we proceed to our step number 3. Ano bang step number 3 natin? Gagamitin natin yung factor na yun upang gumawa tayo ng factor box. So, we identify them. We have 11x now. We have the factor box. Sa factor box, ilalagay natin dito sa corner natin, upper left corner natin. Pag po tayo nakarap sa ating ginagawa, upper left po siya, ang ating first term. Sa lower right naman, ang ating last term. Tapos, pwede mo nang ilagay, maalin, pwede mo magkapalit siya, yung mga factor na nakuha mo. So, pwede po dito yung first factor, pwede po dito yung first factor, pwede po siyang pagpalitin. So, dito, nakikita nyo po, yung ax squared ang ating unang nilagay. Followed by our c, Saka po natin nilagay ang ating mga factor na napili. So, we're done with our third step. Ngayon po, sa fourth step na tayo. Gamit yung box na ating ginawa, kukunin natin yung factor. So, una natin kukunin ay yung first row natin. So, first row natin, ang common po natin using greatest common factor ay 2x. Para po sa second row, we have positive 3. So, 2x squared and ax, 8x, ang common po natin ay 2x. 3x and 12, ang common po natin ay 3. Ngayon naman, ang kukunin natin ay column. The first column natin. We have 2x squared and 3x Ang common po natin ay x. For 8x and 12, ang common po natin ay 4. So, meron na po tayong factor. Ang factor po natin ay x plus 4 at 2x plus 3. So, I repeat, based on our problem, the factors of 2x squared plus 11x plus 12 are x plus 4 and 2x plus 3. Now, let us try to check. Paano ba i-check yun? I-check natin siya by using the process of multiplication. So, gagamitin natin sa multiplication ay ang ating FOIL method. Given our answer, we use FOIL method again. We have the first, outer, inner, last. 
after multiplying and getting and combining the like terms, preferably, meron po tayong parehas na kasagutan. Ibig sabihin, yung ating process na ginamit ay tama at swak na swak sa ating ginawang problem. Okay? Now, ulitin natin na ano ba yung mga steps uli pag tayo ay nagpe-perform ng AC test? Ang first step natin ay i-multiply ang first term sa last term. Pagkatapos nun, step number 2, hanapin ang dalawang factor ng product nito na maglalabas o ilalabas yung ating middle term ng ating trinomial. After po nun, gagawa tayo ng factor box na kung saan di po natin lalagay ang sa upper left po ang ating first term, sa lower right po ang ating last term, at bahala na po mag-interchange yung ating mga factor na nakuha. After po nun, pa-factor po natin by row and by column. Let's have example number 2. Example po number 2 po natin ay 3x squared minus 5x minus 4. So, first step po natin, i-multiply si 3x at si negative 4, kaya po tayo ay may negative 12x. Second step, hanapin ang factor ng negative 12x na maglalabas ng middle term natin which is negative 5x. We have negative 8x tsaka po positive 3x. Pag inad po natin, negative 5x. Ngayon po, ilalagyan natin sa ating factor po natin sa ating factor box ang ating sagot. We, we're going to factor them. Pansin nyo po, ang common factor po ng 3x squared at negative 8x ay x. Ang factor po ng 3x at saka negative 4 ay 1. Ang factor po ng 3x squared at saka po 3x ay 3. Ang factor ng negative 8x at negative 4 ay negative 4. Pwede po siyang mag-interchange. Mag-interchange po yung ating negative 8x at saka po 3x. Hindi po maapektuhan ang ating kasagutan. Let's try. Kung itatry po natin siya, titignan natin kung magpapalit po, ito po yung nakuna nating ginawa. Ngayon, para po pagpalitin natin siya, let's try our next example. Ngayon, pinagtry po natin siyang i-interchange. So, getting the factor of 3x squared and 3x, so, horizontally, we have 3x. We have negative 8x and negative 4. That's definitely a negative 4. Sa taas po ay 3x squared and negative 8x, kaya po tayo may x. Sa 3x at saka po negative 4, kaya po tayo may plus 1. Kung napapansin niyo po, hindi naka-apekto ang interchange sa kanilang kasagutan. Parehas sa parehas po, walang pinagkaiba. Okay? Next, let's have example number 3. Sa ating example number 3, gagamitin po natin ang given na 4x squared minus 19x minus 5 using again our AC test. Sa first step po natin, we multiply the first term, 4x squared and negative 5, kaya po tayo nagkamayon na negative 20x squared. Sa second step natin, so hanapin natin ang factor, hanapin natin ang factor ng negative 20x squared na maglalabas ng 19x na sum. So, lumabas po natin yung negative 20x at saka positive x. After nun, pwede po natin ilagay sa ating factor box. Now, we're going to get the factor horizontally and diagonally given po natin ang 4x squared and negative 20x, ang factor po niya ay 4x. We have x and negative 5. So, ating pong nakuha ang factor ay 1. We have 4x squared and x. Ang nakuha natin yung factor ay x. We have negative 20x and negative 5. Kaya po nakuha natin yung factor ay 
negative 5. So, our factor is 4x plus 1, x minus 5. Kung i-recheck po natin ang kasagutan natin, by long method or vertical method, ito po yung ating magiging sagot. So, automatic, pares na pares po. So, the, our answer is correct. So, guys, thank you. So, that's our video for today. So, tandaan po natin when we are trying to get the factor of general trinomial where A is greater than 1, we follow a certain step. First step is to find the product of the first term and the last term. I'm talking about the AX squared and C. After that, step number 2, find the factor of that product by which the sum is the middle term. Number 3, construct your factor box. And after you construct your factor box for our step number 4, you get the factor or the greatest common factor by each column and each row. So thank you guys. So I hope you learned something. For more video, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow this page. See you guys. Ingat. Ingat po mga karilife. Ingat po.